Step four today, LMPD's chief is on her way out, but before she goes, she's talking with WDRB and she's not holding anything back. Erica Shields came in at a rocky time for the department in the aftermath of the police killing of Breonna Taylor, citywide protests and in the middle of a pandemic. WDRB's Dakota Sherrick joins us with how Shields says her time here was cut short. That's right. Incoming Mayor Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg announced Shields would resign after he takes office. The chief told me she would have liked to stay to continue the work she's been doing with LMPD. Shields acknowledged it's normal for leadership changes to happen when a new mayor comes in, but she is frustrated because she feels the department has been politicized and there hasn't been acknowledgement of the positive changes made at LMPD. I've, I've been asked to leave without any discussion about what work we've done. I mean, that was a decision that was made. I mean, that's, if you have no idea what, what is occurring internally and you've already come to that decision, I would have to believe it's political. And that, again, is a mayor's prerogative. And I support that, which is why I'll, I'll step away. But I also will say it's not okay to just then start with broad strokes, say the department is, is doing business as usual. Well, that is factually wrong. And I owe it to the men and women who have busted their tails for two years for me to speak up and say, no, time out. That's wrong. Interesting that she says she was asked to resign. That's right. a big takeaway there. It's not, yes. I'm going to resign so you can move into your new leadership. It's saying that this position was not available for her in the Greenberg administration. Right, and she said there was no discussion had. It was a decision made. Okay, so uh, as the federal investigation to LMPD wraps up, it's likely going to result in a consent decree, which will include, include some targeted, mandated, specific improvements. A job actually has already been posted by the city and by LMPD to kind of oversee see the implementation of those improvements under the consent decree. But what differences is uh, Shield saying that she's already made? The, I've, I've heard her and the mayor both talk about 150 different reforms. Yeah, there was a lot of different things that she wanted to point out. And, you know, she did mention that she feels the consent decree is very likely. One of the things she talked about was this accountability bureau that they've made and that it's actually going to implement different programs that will likely address what the DOJ may want. And she also just in general improvements says that violent crime is down 17% and that shootings are down 30% according to LMPD reports. She also said hiring is up 37%. Now, one of the areas that she feels needs more work is rebuilding community trust, especially after the police killing of Breonna Taylor. The disconnect with the community, it was so dramatic, especially, quite honestly, right, in the black community. And <clears throat> you're not going to, unfortunately, you're not going to just roll out a couple of programs and get there. I did reach out to Mayor-elect Craig Greenberg. He says, quote, we will be announcing a new interim chief very soon. I look forward to working with the new chief and everyone at LMPD to make our city safer and move forward in a new direction. I respect and admire our hardworking LMPD officers who share our city's common goals of reducing violent crime, improving public safety, and engaging with the community. Coming up on WDRB News at 5, I'll dive into how Shields feels about the future of public safety in Louisville.